So taking a break from reviewing phones, I decided today that I would take you guys into life with me as I'm using my Google Pixel Watch. Now this is the Gen 1 model, so this is not the Pixel Watch 2, and it is the Wi-Fi version, not the LTE version. So just setting the parameters here to give you guys some context, what to expect. Um, I'll tell you guys here in a moment how I have it set up, but you know, just initially, I still enjoy this watch. I think this is a fantastic watch. Um, aside from a few things that, you know, had gotten better in the second gen model. So if you're looking for like longevity, I would advise to get the second gen model. It's got better battery than this one does. But this one gets through the day the way that I need it to work. And also, you know, shout out to Google for the watch band. Really nice watch band that I got gifted from them. So I appreciate them for sending that out to me. Um, I do have a protective case on it to keep it protected from ding scratches or anything that could, you know, damage it. And yeah, um, the idea is to take you guys through my day so you guys see how it works and how battery is. So like I said, I'm going to take you guys through the day of using the uh, Pixel Watch. And can't really say that I used it for a day because I use my Pixel Watch every day. So this is a satellite that's connected to my Pixel 7 and get all my notifications, the battery life and things like that. Um, it's gonna vary by user and how you have the watch set up now. So for you guys to know and to have context of how my watch is set up, so you guys can see I don't have always on display on because I'm not always looking at my watch. I don't see a reason to have that on. I know some people want the display to be on all the time so they could just quickly glance at it and see what time it is. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Um, when I need to check the time, I don't mind looking up and tapping my crown in order to, you know, get the screen on just to see what the time it is and allow the screen to go off. So my battery life, is going to be different than other people's just depending on how it's set up. Like I said, I don't have the tilt gesture on so I can flick my wrist. So that way it doesn't continuously keep waking up the screen just because I'm walking, moving or grabbing something. Um, and I don't have it where I tap to wake the screen just because I don't want to accidentally tap it. And again, it wake the screen when I'm not having any intentions of looking at it. So my setup is very bare minimum. The only way to get the screen on is to in fact push on the crown and you guys can see the screen wakes. And All right, so this is gonna be just a little bit hard to see. So I'm probably going to change my watch face. That way you guys can get a glimpse of like the battery life and such. So let me do that real quick. All right, so it's 10.46 a.m. We're at 99% battery. Just to give you guys context, I'll use this watch face for today so you guys can just quickly see the uh, battery percentage as I use the uh, Pixel Watch throughout my day. So here we go. All right, got most of my stuff packed. Watch is good to go. We are heading out. <laughs> All right, so at the car wash. We're gonna get the car washed right now uh, before we start heading out and doing some Uber Eats today. And yes, water resistant, so that's a good thing. You can wash the car and not have to worry about damaging the watch. percent battery not bad from the last time we checked it out but I can also guys I can also show you guys the battery percentage so there you have it also showing 97% so uh, yeah I'm probably just gonna like 
a few times show you guys a better percentage from here. It seems a lot easier than having to flick my wrist, but then I can always just do that. Show you guys there to make sure it matches up. Stepped out. It is uh, 1.23 p.m. We're sitting at 95% battery. Not too shabby. Here we go. percent battery at this point um, and it is 3:35 p.m. if I sound like this it's because the heat is really starting to get to me so I'm beat from the heat outside but um, yeah we're at home right now taking a break until this evening a lot of the uh, orders are like under four bucks so there's no point burning all that gas just for like you know four dollars here three dollars there we're gonna wait till the evening time where it usually picks up and hits about anywhere between eight to twenty one dollars so we'll be back there doing that till then i'm just gonna relax for now for a little bit So a very interesting thing here is I decided to use my Pixel 5a and uh, yes, you guys can see the battery it is currently sitting at 82% and it is approximately 721 p.m. given the time that I'm speaking right now. <laughs> so it hasn't dropped down any percentages just yet, but um, just so you guys can see the actual setup that I did here. Um, I'll show you guys like how the gestures and everything is pretty much toggled or what's toggled on and what's not. Um, and then, you know, deciding to switch to my Pixel 5a, and I didn't even realize that the case I have for it, which is an official Google case, kind of goes with the watch band. So, you know, that was, uh, I guess, uh, you know, pretty cool. But nonetheless, um, yeah, so you guys can see the gestures and like 15 seconds for the screen to be on before it shuts off automatically and none of the tilt or touch to wake is enabled and uh, no always on display so yeah all right so me and the missus are back out where she's doing uh her over eats the evening time uh, we're about to head up north right now and um, yeah, just kind of uh, see what we can find. Our goal is to make close to $100 before the night's over. Um, I call it a night, about like 9.30, 10, head home um, to you know, get to bed. Tomorrow's a big day for her. Um, with the promotion that she got, uh, she begins uh, training as a manager and uh, next week, She'll take command of her new store, so I'm pretty excited for her. Smash a like button uh, to congratulate her on her promotion. But um, yeah, so as you guys can see, the talks of the Pixel Watch and its battery being really bad and dying quickly, it's really not that, at least not for me and the way that I have my Pixel Watch set up. Now, I'm sure the battery would probably deplete a lot faster if I had always on display on, obviously, but that's not the case here. So um, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. I'll check back in with you guys, let you guys know uh, where the, the battery percentage is at. But, um, you know, before I go real quick, just a couple things 
that you can do with the watch other than look at notifications and everything like that. I think one thing I really enjoy is that if I set this up on a tripod, I can actually use my watch to start recording video, which I think is pretty neat. And if you pair that up with Pixel Buds for a microphone, you literally can record, you know, like video as a content creator away from your camera. Like you can start the video being, you know, five feet away, no problems at all. And you can kind of like zoom in and zoom out using your watch to control it. So that's something that's really, really cool. And maybe I'll demo that in the future video if you guys want me to. Drop a comment, tell me to demo that, and I'll do it for you. So there's the time right now, 8.15. Looks like that we are down to 80%. So that's not bad in the entire time that I've had the watch off the charger. Uh, sitting at 80%. I've been getting my notifications regularly and I actually transfer devices too. So if you kind of think about it, I originally had the Pixel Watch connected to the uh, Pixel 7 and then switched it over to the Pixel 5a. So that does eat up some battery. Uh, but it didn't like eat it dramatically, which is a good thing. But anyways, we got this order over here. Uh, we're gonna grab it, head on. I'm almost done with my day. By the time you guys see this, it'll be late night or probably early tomorrow. Side note, Uber Eats should be paying like hazardous pay when they have you in like the worst areas of the city. This is a not so good area. And um, yeah, so not letting the missus walk out here by herself. But uh, Uber Eats should definitely, should definitely do hazardous pay. 850 and it's 79% battery. Yeah, almost done wrapping up this vlog, but yeah. As you guys can see, the battery's not bad if you kind of go with my method, right? But if you do, if you want like always on display and stuff like that, yeah, I'll eat the battery. But I don't think the, the always on display will eat the battery that bad. Plus two recent updates have really made improvements to the battery as far as like what I was able to read about. So just keep that in mind. First gen Pixel Watch, not a terrible device, honestly.